Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to share an overview and review of Farkle Flip. It's ages 8 and up, 2 or more players, and it takes 15 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first to reach 10,000 points. There are a lot of different combinations to score points. They have an easy scoring reference card uh, for gameplay that you can check out. Uh, the person to the left of the dealer gets to go first and starts flipping out cards. And you just place cards that you flip out. It's either in front of you or in front of another person. Uh, and for this one, we'll just um, say it's a two-player game. You usually start out flipping them out in front of you. And you get to go until you want to stop or until you flip out a Farkle card. You leave it up in front of you. Your turn is over if you flip over a Farkle card. Even if it's your first card, then it's the other person's turn. Um, you go to the left. We'll say this is just a two-player game. So this person starts flipping out cards. And here, they're keeping on going. Uh, and then they flip out a three. They're going to choose to play it over on this side because uh, they're trying to, you can take cards from other people to score. Uh, so they're going to keep on going. And we'll say here they realize, ooh, four of any number is worth a thousand points. And to score, to get on the scoreboard for the first time, you need to have at least a thousand points. Uh, so they're going to take these. They just placed the three on them. That is the moment when they can place it into the center. Um, that's the cards that they're reserving to score. But they can continue to flip out cards. Maybe they're hoping they get another five or a four. So they flip out another card. Ooh, they got a three. They can't put it on the cards in the center. They're reserved for scoring. They can put it in front of themselves. But that's just fine. Um, another thing for this is there's the, you can get three pairs. Uh, and if they had, is this an, oh, they would farkle on the next one. So I'll show you what you do for that. But if they had had, at this point, there's these threes, there's the four and the five, and they want to say, ooh, I can take two from here, two from here, and two from here to have three pairs. No. If you make scoring a combination, it has to be all in front of the same player. So that wouldn't work. So we'll say they took, they had these four threes in the middle, and that's when they said, okay, I'm out. I'm going to score this. I have 1,000 points if you score you take the cards, put them face down in front of you, and then it's the next person's turn. If they hadn't done that, uh, if they had left them out and said, oh, okay, I'm going to keep on going, and they flipped over another three, they put in front of it, they keep on going, and they flip over the Farkle, at that point, all of these cards go into, they keep the Farkle, and all of these cards go into their own hand. Um, and then it's the next person's turn. This person... They're flipping out cards. They're probably going to put it on here. And maybe they say, geez, I can take, you can break these apart and they could take, now they can take two fours, two fives, and two threes and score 1,500 points for that. However, whenever you score, if you have any Farkle cards in front of you, you have to score that as well. A single Farkle is worth just 100 points. So this would be 1,500 plus this 100, and they play it face down in front of them, and then it's back to this person. And they get to flip over cards, and you can put it in the middle whenever you want, but then, oh, another four came out, and they don't get to put it out there. So that's all there is to it. You can get a run, you can get pairs, you can get threes or fours of a kind, but you're just trying to score um, to 10,000 first, they're just going to keep up. This can be, they can score twice. You can have, uh, although this would be better to take two fours, two threes, and two sixes and score that. So make the best scoring combinations that you can. Watch out for the farkles. Sometimes you end up with a few farkles in front of you before uh, you're able to score. And good news, that is worth more as well. So if they had four farkles, and we're finally able to score something. The four Farkles would equal 1,000 points to add into your score. Keep on going until somebody gets 10,000 points and they are the winner. So that's how to play Farkle Flip. The target demographic for this game is someone who likes Farkle and is looking for something a little bit different. The rule complexity is low. The how competitive is this game? It's medium, 
Uh, however, it's medium in a push your luck kind of way, which means if something bad happens to you, it's either the card's fault or your fault for pushing your luck too far and then getting the bad card. So it's not like anything anybody else is doing is getting you in this game, which can help if there's anybody who gets hurts feelings while they play card games. Uh, the replay value is medium. It's a solid little card game. Uh, if you are looking for similar games, an, uh, another excellent option for a push your luck game is the game called Push. It's one of our favorites. Uh, you're flipping out cards into three different stacks and try not to repeat same number or color. And what's nice about that one is there's some uh, player interaction on other people's turns because you can get some of the points from some of the stacks that people are laying out, which is fun. And then also I would recommend Don't Llama is a card game in which you're trying to get the least amount of points. And it's a very simple, simple premise. It's along these lines of difficulty, but it's by a fancy game designer and you'll look pretty cool if you go around uh, playing it. But this is a nice uh, push your luck game. We really enjoyed it and you should check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.